Hello everyone, welcome back to the next Shadow Man Remastered playthrough. Um, we left off in the summer camp and this level is going to be all about the the prison level. Um, but first we're actually going to go and praise the Loa because I have a hundred Karo, um, so I'm going to go and get some more health which will actually help me inside the prison. So if you get 100 Kado at any point in your playthrough, you just warp um, to the Temple of Life and we can just very quickly use this little uh, teleporter here. We can use our um, sword or dagger, whatever it's called, and we just like teleport in here. What's it called? The baton. Um, and this will take us right to um, where we can praise Loa. And I say I figured out that I didn't even get these Kado as well, so I'm going to pick these up. Must have forgot to break these vases, and uh, that was one I've already done. And we might as well just do this in order. So I'll go over here and offer my sacrifice. These gifts I give to thee, O gracious Loa, O generous Loa, a spiritual trade for life beyond. The life force is strong within me. So I just got my um, health up a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and warp to the, let's see, the Cathedral of Pain, and this is going to let us get into the prison. Um, quite keen to do the prison in daytime. Uh, before going into the prison, I would recommend you get full, um, full ammo for your, uh, oh, what's it called? I already forgot the name of this weapon. Uh, File layer, yeah, so you need to get full, well not need to, but I would strongly recommend you get full violator ammo. Um, I think 500, there's a little uh, crate right here you can pick up violator ammo. So uh, if you need more, just keep picking up from there and um, you can actually just re-warp re to this level and I'll just spawn back. So yeah, it's going to be helpful to have all of that ammo because we're going to fight um, what would have been a boss, um, but we'll, we'll get into that in a little minute. Um, this is my last retractor actually. I'm going to use it to get into um, the last one I have at the minute. I need to get two more, um, but I'm going to use it to get into the prison. And uh, we'll unlock that before we become uh, become uh, the Shadow Man in, in live side. Um, so we're at a bit of a dilemma in my playthrough at this point because uh, well, this is first. Let me talk about the prison. This level is really cool because um, when I was a kid playing this in Nintendo 64, I I was a huge zombie fan even way way back then. And this to me kind of felt like the zombie level. Like I always feel felt like these enemies. I kind of there wasn't many zombie games, so I kind of had to go looking for zombie games on the Nintendo 64. And this one I felt like was like these bodies reanimate, and uh, I always kind of felt like this was like zombies. So I used to have fun um, in here playing around and killing these headless corpses. Um, the prison's a huge level and uh, I'm going to dedicate this whole video just to playing it because um, normally in the original game when you play this there is uh, would would be three bosses in this part but um, but because the bosses are now all spread out we still have this huge level um, and the bosses have actually been replaced by helicopters and those helicopters are very very difficult to kill um, so that's why I was suggesting we bring so much violator ammo so at least you have some decent weaponry to actually um, kill the helicopters because they're just ridiculously hard to kill I think anyway um, so yeah we've, we've got this massive level now that we have to play our way through and uh, get all the way to the Lizard King, which is like the final boss in this level. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just a long level. I, I'm trying to. I, I feel like everyone who played Shadow Man um, would have had a different experience with it because it always depended in the order that you uh, fought the five. I mean, technically, I don't even have to be here right now I can just go ahead and play the rest of the the game um, but I wanted to come and experience these levels in the daytime um, partly because I mean it's just good to be able to show you guys what they're like in daytime 
Um, it feels like the playthrough is a little bit more complete if I've I've got the two versions, the daytime and nighttime. Because what you have to remember is once you become the Shadow Man in Live Side, um, you can no longer visit during the day. You just come in at um, uh, night time. So you're kind of missing part of the game, at least the aesthetic. I believe one of the bosses is out here, so let's see how this goes. I'm going to equip my Violator and my Uzi, my SMG. This is, is going to be a tough fight, so let's see how I get on here. It may take me a couple of tries to actually kill this guy. Um, let's see if I can just try and use some cover. Yeah, he's just he shreds you pretty quickly. Oh, nice! I actually whoa! <laughs> I was in right in the middle of his explosion. Okay, that seemed to work quite well. So let me just unequip that. Um, that went a lot better than I expected because um, in other playthroughs I've had to fight that chopper over and over again it would have just kept taking me out like um, it just the, if the gun like locks onto you in the right way it'll just completely drain your health that's part of why I actually went and uh, got my health up as well because you know I find uh, with my other health it was even though it's just one extra bar it does it's clearly make some difference um, but I hear you would have fought a boss as well but um, we're not we're not doing that because oh I need to backtrack here and actually get a key card but yeah they've just replaced I think in the remaster they've basically just replaced them um, with helicopters and there is an achievement for taking down both helicopters um, Originally, it was like you had to do it in daytime and nighttime, but then they recently patched that achievement, so now you only have to take them out in either or nighttime or daytime. So don't worry anymore about missing that achievement. Um, I need to work out where. Let's see where this key card is. I need to go a different way. This prison is a little bit of a maze, also, um, but there is a key card I need to get. It's pretty crucial to actually unlock and. Um, let's see. It's pretty crucial in unlocking um, all of the doors that we need to make our way through the prison. Maybe there's nothing else up here. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I think it's actually down behind these stairs, perhaps. Here we go. This looks promising. Here we go through this hole. This will take us to a key card. Some more health. Maybe some cuddle down here. Nope. Yeah, down here is the okay, so we've got our um we have got our key card over here. It's like this I think I guess this guard went to um use the key card but then his arm got ripped off. I love how Michael doesn't like bother to remove the um, the severed hand. He just kind of holds on to the severed hand, <laughs> rather than just like moving the key card out of the guy's hand. Um, these guys are all gonna start waking up. So yeah, like at the start of the video, I was saying like I'm at a bit of a dilemma, and what I meant by that is. Um, we're now at level 7 and actually have been for quite a while, um, soul level 7, which allows us to go into the level 7 gates and once you get to that soul level there is a lot you can do um, and a few things I've actually already done in my playthrough. Um, but one of those things is that you can um, you can visit the lava ducts, so that would technically be the next, um, next main area if you like that you would go and visit. but. The problem with the lava ducks is that you need the ability to swim in lava to sort of fully complete the level. And I don't feel like going and doing that level until I have that ability because, you know, the game gives you the um, the the tattoo that lets you walk on fire, so you think great, and then you get to the 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 lava ducks, and then all of a sudden there's all these swimming things. So it's kind of like um, it hasn't really helped too much. Oh, I think I forgot to actually use the keycard. Okay, so remember whenever you pick up the keycard, actually use it. Um, so yeah, I think going to the Lava Ducks now would be a bit of a mistake because I'd have to then backtrack again after progressing and getting the final tattoo, which allows me to swim in water. So I didn't want to do that. Um, also, um, 
I uh, the other thing you can do is get the Eclipser, I think it's called, um, which gives me the ability to uh, uh, be the Shadow Man in live side. So I'd be able to come here, be the Shadow Man, use all of my Shadow Man weapons, um, and uh, defeat the five. Actually, be able to be um, uh, competitive against them and actually be able to take them out. But like I said, I didn't want to do that because if I did that, then I wouldn't be able to come here in the daytime and, um, you know, I explain why I didn't want to do that. So my plan here today is to unlock, play this in the daytime, show you guys all about the prison and then uh, actually unlock the, um, oh, why is that getting not open? Uh, oh yeah, maybe up here is open now. Okay, so I've unlocked this door up here. Um, unlock the, the the teleportation to the boss in this level and I actually get some pretty cool weapons there's some cool weapons inside the prison there's actually two weapons um, I think the way they've done it is there's two weapons here because um, you would fight you would have normally fought two bosses so put a couple of weapons one of them's an SMG actually which is just similar to your Uzi I guess you can just now duel with them and the other weapon is a pretty cool shotgun which makes it a lot more enjoyable to actually fight the um, uh, the zombies as I call them. I don't know what they're actually their name is. Okay, so let's see. Let me think. Stuff to do up that way. But the helicopters out the other way. Let's see. Let's go in here. Let's do a little bit of exploring. See if we can find some cool stuff. All these guys are going to reanimate. Oh, they take a lot of pistol shots. Okay, let's see. There is something down here. There must be a reason to get down here. I'm assuming it's to unlock um, doorways. Probably just cut and stuff in around here too. Oh, I just lagged. Oh dear, that was my computer. <laughs> I need to get a new computer badly. Uh, let's see. Another thing I was actually planning on doing this level, and I don't do it very often, is actually um, something I never do is just be quiet. Um, I always talk incessantly when I'm doing playthroughs because I always feel like I the soundtrack in this level is really good and I feel like by not sharing it you guys will be missing out. So let me be quiet for a minute and let you guys listen to this masterpiece of a soundtrack. Actually, what I'm going to do, because um, I realise my soundtrack settings are probably quite low, let's go into the options and actually tweak the audio. So let's go to up the music and basically down everything else. And you'll be able to appreciate this uh, soundtrack a lot more. Great. Good. Alright, so I'm going to have to jump back in, the soundtrack changes whenever you actually uh, fight this final, or you fight this helicopter. Okay. I 
should be able to beat him this first. Hopefully I can beat him here, but if not... Oh, nice. This is actually a good tactic here, standing behind this um, crate, because he didn't really seem to be able to hit me. Um, I had a lot more difficulty whenever I was... Um, I did a little test of this level, and I had a lot more difficulty um, actually uh, killing those guys. I had to keep coming back. All right, let me let me be quiet again because um, I feel like I talked over the soundtrack and there's some really cool audio um, during the soundtrack, so I'll be quiet for a little minute. So yeah, I love that soundtrack. It just loops. Um, I think the three phrases that are said is "I am the." Oh, the end is nigh, which always comes up. Um, I am the Lizard King, and the end is sooner than you think. Those are all lines that you get to hear during the Lizard King um, boss fight, and I thought it was. So, it's really cool how it's like mixed into the soundtrack of the level, and I just really loved that soundtrack as a kid. Um, so I thought I'd let you guys listen to it. I've just found a new weapon also. This is the SMG. This should be useful. So I could uh, now dual wield um, SMG and this kind of Uzi. Kill people a little bit quicker. Um, and later on we'll actually be able to dual wield the Violator which is even better again. Um, I think we actually pick up the item that's required to, to go and get the, the Violator as well. So a few more doors to open up as well. Um, let's see. Might just tweak back my audio sounds. We'll just go back to the defaults. So I might as well use my violator as well, it might um, help me out here. You can actually see the um, the zombies turning now, so it doesn't really explain what's happening, but I assume it's something to do with uh, the five or the Lizard King himself, maybe is somehow involved in doing this. I've got a dead body hanging up here, it's telling us to go up this way. Um, so there's something up here. I thought this was more of a key area, but... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Didn't see this little bit in here. Oh yeah, we couldn't get up these stairs before. It's all blocked by pool tables and stuff, so... Maybe this yard wasn't accessible before. Oh yeah, and here must be the... Another key card. So yeah, um, after this level, um, I'm going to go and get the last piece of the Eclipser, and, uh, which is like a dagger that uh, Nettie uses on you, and it, like I said, it gives you the ability to be uh, Shadow Man in here. Um, so I don't know if there'll be time, I seem to, well, there's still, we have to still go through like the psychiatric ward and stuff as well, so, oh, wrong way. have opened up that gate. Let's go down this way. I don't think I've been down here yet. 
Oh yeah, I've done. This place is a is a bit of a maze, so we're we're basically making our way to the Lizard King, which is he's in the psychiatric ward at the minute. Oh, I may have, my may be lost already. Right, to see. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Um, okay, open this door. It's not in there. I feel like a rat in a maze right now. I'm thinking I have to actually backtrack out of here. Yeah, okay, so let's go way, way back. So I think we actually have to go back to where we fought the first chopper and, and what we just did there unlocked a door way back then. So let's make our way back there because there was a door that was uh, locked back then. A little bit of backtracking. The, the fact that these bodies are all getting back up suggests to me that I'm on the right track here. Um, let's see in this doorway. We're on low on uh, ammo here, but sh yeah, okay. So open this door. This is like one of those one of those last um, key cards I did. Open this door, which is leading down, I believe, down the sort sort of psychiatric part of the uh, prison where. The, the Lizard King is housed. Lizard King, to me, is always kind of like a... a Hannibal Lecter type character. Um, he even looks a lot like Hannibal Lecter. Uh, let's see, there's a way you can jump up here. I think. I think we have to jump up. Maybe... yeah, here maybe? Yeah. And then we can drop down here. This is the other side of this locked door. And then I think we actually probably open up that locked door. Oh, we can open up this also. Oh, this this leads to a shortcut um, as well. We just we essentially just unlocked a shortcut. Um, this elevator will take us down to the um, Lizard King's um, area of the prison, if you like, like the psychiatric thing. If un unlock that gate um, back there also. Um, so we could do that down there. What I'm going to do is, um, just for completionist sake, we'll go back through the shortcut and show you guys where that leads to. Oh, I can't, I can't use the, I don't think I can use the baton. Okay, so that leads to the very start of the level. Um, I guess if you didn't um, unlock the the warp point, this is like a, an early one. Um, and there is a little hidden thing which I may get time to show you at the end of this video. So now we're in the site gathering and you can tell the difference because now the, the what I call the zombies are now all dressed in orange. Um, to, to sort of signify that these prisoners are mentally ill pretty much. Um, so we're going to go and find the Lizard King right now. We're about, a th I guess, a third of the way through the prison. Still plenty of doors to unlock to actually get to the Lizard King. Um, and all I want to do is basically, oh nice, we're going to go and get the shotgun in here actually. Oh, That's going to be a good combo, let's go with the like, shotgun SMG. <laughs> just turns the um, some of those oh nice shotgun ammo too it just like turns them into meat if you get if you just get the right hit 
Kind of reminds me of Gears of War. It is the perfect weapon for a zombie. Shotgun's always nice to have against zombies. Um, I think this shotgun was actually, or one of the shotguns was originally um, in uh, in live side, like um, around the Louisiana sort of swamp that Nate is at. But they mixed up a little bit. I think that shotgun is actually now in uh, the summer camp, but you can't actually get it until you're uh, you're going back there as the shadow man. Big cubes of meat. Cool weapon actually, I really like the shotgun. Okay, I think we're on the right track here, but I don't know if we've unlocked the doors to actually get in. <clears throat> yeah, these are... So the Lizard King's in here, but we need to actually to unlock those doors so let's we have to do a little bit of backtracking here find out where these uh, where the locks are okay, I came up this way all right so then probably in here of course I have to unlock those doors oh nice so this will actually give me access to... Oh, the zombies getting up behind me. Um, this accumulator will actually give me access to the... Uh, the um, What's it called? I keep forgetting the name. Violator. So there's a there's another violator in the level. Uh, or in the game where you can, that you can dual wield. And that little key that I picked up will give me access to that. I think I need to backtrack even further back to get this door open. Be generous with the ammo at the minute. Which is certainly making fighting these guys a lot easier. Um, yeah, I didn't actually know at the time. Someone, and I forget who exactly it was, so I apologise for that, but someone mentioned, it may even have been Kevin Longtime, mentioned that the... Uh, you could duel with the violators in uh, the N64 version, but I uh, don't believe any of the other versions let you duel wield it. So they've they've kind of brung that over from the N64, which is pretty cool to see how some of the features from like there's features from like the best features from all of the games is has made its way into the remaster. It's a nice little attention to detail I think on Night Dive's part. I don't think there's much in these rooms other than. Um, Probably Kado and stuff like that and items. Oh, yeah. oh a secret. There's a secret right there. Let's see. I didn't get that one before. Um, secrets. Uh, shotgun heads. I wonder what that does. Oh, you know, I, I bet I have to warp out and warp back in to see what that just did. Um, I'm not sure what that cheat does just yet because I'd have to warp on it. I might actually, I probably will warp um, later on. If we have some time. So I need to go and... Uh, I think I need to backtrack further back to... Um, I think I've came too far without unlocking a door. So let's go back a little bit on ourselves here. And check in here probably. Yeah, here we go. So this is what I've been missing, I think. Hopefully that unlocks the thing outside the church, but it might even just unlock no, it hasn't unlocked that. That's probably a shortcut there. So let's go back up to the church area and see if it unlocked the um, the doorway that was going in there. Yeah, it did. Okay. I didn't realise my health was actually down a little bit.
to be a bit more careful, I think. Yeah, this door is now unlocked. No. Just checking for some health. There we go. Okay, I think it maybe unlocked this door. Yes, this door was definitely locked earlier, so here we go. We're getting we're it looks like we're getting into the maximum secure area now, so we're we're getting closer to the Lizard King. What's around here? Yeah. There we go, there's the Lizard King right up ahead. So I'm gonna let you guys hear the, the dialogue for the um for this uh, boss fight. This way, Mikey. Good afternoon. May I help you? What I meant to say was, is there something I can do for you? Yeah, there's something you can do for me. And what is that, pray tell? You can get the hell out of my way. Ah, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Hey, anything's possible, Doc. You, above all, people should know that. I'm sorry, did I call you people? My mistake. You aren't a person at all, are you? Are you? Don't tell me you're expecting some kind of answer to your rhetorical question. Oh yeah, I know all about you, Doc. You think you're so smart. Look at you, so smug in your self-belief, the hero at the heart of your own pathetic power fantasy. But really, you're a little baby girl, aren't you? Deep inside, shivering inside. Pissing your frilly little panties. Oh, come now. A squealing, puking, hairless puppy inside. Now you're mixing metaphors. So move out of my way, puppy dog. I won't ask you again. I will not move out of your way. I will not. Do you know who I am? Do you? <laughs> you're a little puppy dog. Don't call me that. I am Dr. Death. I am the Lizard King. Can't you see what I've accomplished here? I have brought his kingdom to Earth. I am the leader of the five. You should fear me. Fear me! I pity you. <laughs> that wasn't very nice now, was it? For I shall sit at the right hand of the Lord. Did you know that? For we are many. Were you aware of that? You ant! You piece of excrement! You nothing! So you may have noticed in the dialogue there he actually does say I am the Lizard King and it's the exact line that's used in the song um, and also while we're fighting him he'll use dialogue like that he'll say the end is nigh and he'll say all of the all of the dialogue from the um, uh, there you go, he just said the end is sooner than you think, so... Um, I can't really fight him right now, so what I'm going to do is warp to... Uh, let's see... Let's warp back to the asylum, and I'm going to show you one little trick that might help you in, in the prison uh, if you ever get stuck. So we're just going to quickly go back through the trace, and... Uh, I better... Um, change my shadow gun. Um, and I'm just going to show you a little secret um, panel that we didn't get to. I was kind of keeping it um, as a backup because I didn't actually expect to be able to fight uh, or beat the helicopters as easily as I did. So I, I had a little backup stash of ammo that I'm going to show you a little secret. So in this first room, um, there is a... Let's change to that gun. Yeah, oh, sh I just shot it. Um, there's a there's like a poster here if you shoot it um, you can go down here uh, and there's just lots of um, lots of violator ammo this is actually would be a good little um, if you ever want to stock up on violator ammo this is probably the place to come and also there's that uh, little um, uh, shortcut I was talking about earlier that we unlocked um, we would just be able to now put our baton in there and it brings you quite close to the lizard king um, now that we have that warp, it's not really necessary, but I just thought I'd make you aware of it. 
So nothing in these barrels yet because I assume I maybe don't have the gun or whatever, whatever they're empty for. But these four here contain violator ammo. So it's a pretty good little stock of them. If you're in the prison and uh, you're finding the helicopters hard to fight and you have the violator, it'd be well worth just going through this little shortcut and um, getting some more violator ammo because uh, it'll just help you beat um, the helicopter. And this is another little shortcut we're opening up to. In case you're wondering what that, how to get through that door, it's just um, you go through that little secret poster bit. Um, so there, there's the prison, guys. I've done essentially everything there is to do inside the prison. Um, I think I'll leave it there for this video because it's quite long. And in the next video, we're going to go and get uh, the Clipser, and or I think that's what it's called, and we're going to become Shadow Man during the day. Um, so. Yeah, thanks for watching guys um, and uh, keep an eye out for the next video.